Um, I want to first thank the Terrapin team uh, for putting together this great conference and the sharing of information that's occurring. I think that's key for the future for all of us to be able to accelerate our knowledge and meet this goal that's coming to us as far as feeding the world in 2050. Uh, back in 1999, IFA, the International Fertilizer Association, said, this was before it was vogue to talk about it, that there's 6.8 billion people in the world back then. Um, in 2050, there's going to be 9 billion. How are we going to feed these people? And it came up with you need to double the crops that we're doing today with about the same area, um, same area arable land. Um, the reason I bring that up is because at that same time, the, the initiatives of EFA were we need better seeds, we need better fertilizers, we need better watering, um, chemicals, and the last one they used was a wider adoption of GPS and GIS technologies, um, which I feel affects all of those different areas. And the most recent, <clears throat> most recent development is a connected farm. And I want to back up about 100 years, back to 1904, um, at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, for those of you who know where this area is, the Wright brothers were about to take off with their plane, and people stood around and they said, there's no way that you're going to be able to fly. Okay, They did, and 100 years later, now you can, you can fly in an A380 that will hold almost 1,000 people, a double-decker plane. It's amazing technology that has developed over a 100 years time frame. Then if we look at the 60s, when uh, Armstrong was going to go walk on the moon, people said, you're not going to be able to do this. I mean, there was a lot of critics. And what ended up happening is, okay, he landed on the moon, and then today, 50, 60 years later, if you want to go to the moon, you can pay 50 to 100 grand and go. Okay, so technology has been um, rapidly developing. <clears throat> Although Trimble has been a company of hardware over the last 20 years, can you imagine <clears throat> in 1970s if you had said, hey, in the year 2000, there's going to be a tractor that can drive by itself? People would give you that same response, there's no way it's going to happen. Well, that's happening today. And the next leap is going to be, like Chairman Mitchell talked about, in the data intelligence side and how we're going to take information, put it all together, and be able to present it to the group so that everybody can be more efficient on the technologies that they're using today. So I'm going to talk to you about Connected Farm. <clears throat> connected Farm is the opportunity to share information across the entire farm so that tractors can communicate with each other, so the tractors can communicate back to the office with what they're doing um, so that we can just optimize things that are happening on the farm. Uh, what is it? An integrated operations management solution that combines industry-leading hardware and software to increase the efficiency and enable better uh, development and decision-making for today's farming business. The challenge with that in the past has been able to, is how can you take that information, collate it, put it together, and then present it in a way that people can make better decisions? And Connected Farm is one step in being able to do this. So in the past, hardware has been a focus of Trimble. In the future, data intelligence and the software is going to become more of a focus. But in able to, uh, in able to be able to use the Connected Farm, you're going to need these three pieces of equipment today. There's a DCM 300 modem, an FMX integrated display, which is kind of like your computer display board, and then an automatic steering product. <clears throat> Sometimes when you mention modem to people, they say, modem, I haven't heard that since the 80s when you can hear that buzzing noise and things like this. But imagine this. Today we kind of uh, refer to it in our home as a router or something like that. So this actually is on the tractor. Um, it has external cellular antennas as well as external Wi-Fi antenna and internal GPS. So it can track the, track the actual piece of equipment that it's on as it goes around the farm and communicate that information out. The second important piece is the actual um, FMX integrated display. This is like your computer. Sometime when you go to a checkout at a pizza place, they've got that display there and they're punching numbers. This is the same type of thing. It's in the cab. And this is where you would program your tractor or your implement um, on, this, on a task that you'd like to do. And then the last piece is the uh, guidance and steering solution is the type of automatic steering product that you'd pick. 
and they have lower cost products to most expensive products, uh, Easy Steer, Easy Pilot, and Trimble Autopilot, with the top one being a hydraulic system. Um, some people will say, well, why do we need this? Um, are we just lazy? We don't want to steer our tractors? Or what is the purpose of this? And I can quote some examples. In some farms, I can quote one that's 160,000 hectares. They would just use their eyes to line up their rows, OK? And if they made three passes, they would cover about 26 feet. Okay. Once they implemented an auto-type steering system, they were able to cover 40 feet. Okay. So it was almost 25, 30% more efficient. And when you multiply that over that 160,000 acres, and you multiply it times the amount of fuel that you need, the chemicals, the seed, all these different things, you can see how it far pays for having this type of technology. There's an operator in the cab, but it's actually steering itself. Um, so then we switch over to some of the service options or the software options. Down the left-hand side there, vehicle manager, vehicle sync, office sync, um, and office sync handheld. Those are the four that we're going to focus on today. I'd just like to give you a preview of things that are available out there today. And there's more coming, but this is what a person could buy today if they wanted to utilize it. Vehicle manager. How does this work? So it's an uh, enterprise software type system that you get on the internet. You, you come to the home page and you log in. It's just a single sign-on user. You use your email address to get on. It's at www.connectedfarm.com. Okay, so that's your first step. What can it do? It can do fleet position tracking, so you can know where all your equipment is on your farm. You can get a historical breadcrumb trail. And what that is is um, you can tell where the tractor has been in a certain period of time. If you want to track an operator for the last seven days to see where he's been on the tractor, you can do that. You can get security alerts, geofence, and curfew. You can go on the website, and you can actually take, uh, take your pointer and, and circle a field. And if the tractor would enter that field, you would get an alert on your smartphone or your email right away that there's a tractor in that field. And where you wouldn't want that to happen is if a seeding implement is actually going into an area that has had a pre-emerge herbicide or something like that put on there. Um, curfew alert, this is more of the security of the tractor. If the tractor is turned on after the curfew that you've actually set, you'll get an alert to your phone. So in the middle of the night, other than a, a, a fire alarm here, at you might get a, an alert that says, hey, um, tractor XYZ has been started in this field and it's leaving. Something you may not want to have. Cab dashboard, uh, you can get real-time CAN messaging. So you can actually see what's going on in the tractor. You're in the office. The operator is 100,000 acres away. And you can see what the fuel level is in that tractor. So if you want to send a fuel truck to fill it up, you can see uh, what the hydraulic pressure is, what the oil pressure is. Um, a number of different things like that. Let me, um, then you can also collate all this information in a report. And then you have the opportunity to map and scout the data viewer. OK, so I'm going to run through this real quickly. Uh, when we talked about the fleet position tracking, um, you can track the current positions of each connected vehicle. And you can zoom into each vehicle by using Bing, Bing Maps. Um, the breadcrumb trail. You have the opportunity to go in. You can select which day you actually want to track the equipment and identify exactly where he's been over a certain period of time. The security alert, the geo alert that we talked about, this is the actual area that they've made a geofence alert there. So if a tractor goes into that area or exits that area, you can get an alert as a farm manager. This is an example of the screen sh screenshot for the uh, cab dashboard. Um, it's kind of hard to see here, but on the left-hand side, you have the RPMs of the tractor, so you can tell if it's running or not. Uh, on the right-hand side, you have the fuel. And in the center, there are different types of uh, oil pressure and temperature of the tractor and those type of things. The reporting, so you can select the tractor that you want to report. You can have up to 100, 1,000 tractors in the system. You pick out the ones you want to report on. Um, you select the engine hours, current location, sensors, press print, and that information can come out to you in a report form. Uh, something that's fairly new is a connected farm app. It's available for um, both iPhones and Android phones. 
Um, you can download those uh, today in either the iPhone store or at the Android site. Um, this is kind of cool. It's a free application, and you can actually go out onto your farm, and if you wanted to make a boundary area, you have that ability to do it, and that would send the information back to your connected farm account so it's automatically in there. Um, if while you're out scouting your field, you happen to see a rock or you see a pest, you see some weeds, something like that, you can drop a flag right there and it'll collect that data and send it into the connected farm. Um, this mapping and scouting data viewer, this is basically the information that's been collected on your, on your smartphone and already sent back into the, uh, into the, into the office. Vehicle sync, this is when you can have two tractors or more out in the field. Um, is anybody familiar with what an AB guidance line is? Has anybody seen these before? Um, what basically they are is when the farmer is actually in the field, the operator, he's drawing a straight line, he clicks A on the FMX display, he gets to the end of the field, he clicks his B, and then that's an AB line. That's a straight line in between those two letters, okay? So what will ha happen is the computer will replicate that across the field so that when he turns around, he presses a button to engage, it'll take you right back down the AB line, but the certain amount of feet away from the first one. What that can also do is it'll sync with another tractor that's in the field. So that tractor gets the same AB lines, and then they can both together work a field and not have over, um, you know, not have over coverages together. Office sync, this is when the information from the tractor or from the implement in the field is being sent back to the office. Um, and the person in the office is able to, you know, send prescription maps, yield data, coverage maps, drainage designs, soil sample locations, and scouting data back and forth between uh, the office and the, and the unit itself. So in the connected farm, you have the FMX display that's on the actual tractor. It's sending information to the uh, computer for the yield data analysis, and that can create a prescription map, which ends up going back to the FMX display, and it can tell the tractor where to apply variable rates of fertilizer, chemicals, seed, these type of things. Then, conversely, you could set it up on the uh, computer that you wanted to have soil samples taken from certain parts of the field. It can send that information to these uh, handheld units that are Trimble handheld Juno units here. Um, it sets out the target points on the mobile computer. A person would go to that point, they would take the soil sample, and then they would send the soil sample uh, information and come back to, um, back to the office as to where exactly it was taken for the analysis to be done in the future. So. This is some information as far as why Connected Farm. Um, there are a lot more applications that are going to be coming, some really neat and exciting things. Kind of, some people refer to it as a big brother watching what's going on in your field. But uh, somebody during the breakout sessions had said that the most influential person on your farm is for the profit and, and the loss potential is the operator of the equipment. So if you had some sort of guidance to be able to offer this person so that when they're making their choices, they could do things um, to be more profitable than, than these type of things are available to them now today. Um, any more information? We do have a, a Trimble booth here today. I'd um, like to welcome you guys to stop by and get any information that you can. Um, you can also go to our website, www.trimble.com, as well as uh, connectedfarm.com. And with that, I'd like to... Ask any questions.